Anyway, moving right along. Oh boy. So here we have a puzzle. You push these buttons. Hmm. So I think you have to push these around. Okay, why do I have the bombs on? So I think you have to have all the buttons pushed. So obviously you want to push this one here. Hmm. And you can use this one too, I think. So basically you just have to have all all a little bit of middle. You have to have all of the buttons pushed. It's not incredibly complicated. Hasty Steven! Welcome to the party, my man. Okay, so push this down here. I'm doing all right. Okay, problem is we're missing one. Hmm. These are kind of stuck, so we're going to have to start over. Let's try that again, shall we? See, because I don't think you can push this any further to the south. I don't think it lets you do that. Oh, it does. Okay, please stop being stupid. Okay. That fixes that. Okay, so we want to... See, that one's up against the wall, so you can't really move it to the left anymore. Hmm. Let's move this one over here. Hmm, I don't think that's gonna work. Tekken 7? That just sounds crazy. this up here. See, those two are still kind of not where they should be. See, see, we're still missing one. That's the problem. Hmm. Okay, I think I see. Could I... I can't push that now. I don't know why. See, this, this puzzle can be a little tricky because you have to have all the blocks in the right positions. 
So I believe you have to use uh, the one that's up against the wall. It, it, it actually has to be in the... S crap. Well, screwed that up already. That's great. The, the one that's up against the wall, you have to put it in, in the, uh, the this corner here. Just get this out of the way. there. So let's get that in the corner. Taco Bell! That sounds pretty awesome. Put that there. Okay, there we go. See? We can put this block there and then that big block there. And we should be good. You know what I'm talking about? It's a little tricky, but it's not too bad. There we go. Good stuff. Bum bum bum. Uh oh. What is this nonsense? This looks unique. So we gotta use the boomerang to hit these switches. Leave me alone, man. And every time you hit something, it goes faster. I just fell. Freaking bonga. Oh boy. Got it. Okay. It looks harder than it actually is. Uh oh. We need to use some bombs? You want it? times and then all of a sudden a boss a boss randomly appears Fafner which is of course a, the name of a mythological dragon so he has 22,000 HP automatically drops a duplicator so that that's pretty sweet you can go ahead and mystic a lucky card So he has a physical attack to a single target, a non-elemental attack, which he which he uses to counter wind damage since he's weakens wind. And he has an attack where he uh, takes off one tenth of your HP each turn. So that's fun. You could use Finest Arts to make quick work of him, but we haven't really mastered that, so... You know. You can use Lock On. You can use a Gala card. Go ahead and put on Valiant. That wouldn't be a bad idea at all. Or Hyper, that works too. And you could do Fragile if you wanted to. Like I said, he's weak against Wind. But it, if you do that, he'll counter with non-elemental attacks. So it's probably better to just stick with physical attacks. Dun dun dun. Do 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 do. Wah wah wah. Boom. Contaminated crust. Of course, that'll take a tenth of your HP off, which actually helps you with uh, doing uh, Valiant, so that's really not a bad thing. 
I guess we could do a wind attack just to show off what happens. To show off that attack. Heh. <laughs> well, 624, that's not too bad for Jet. He does Fafner Horn. It's pretty powerful. But nothing we can't handle. Pop! Boom! Harry? I've reached the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop. No, you haven't, Marv. Just shut up. Bastage. Da -na -na -na. So with the... So with you getting a tenth damage each turn, Valiant is going to be doing tons of damage. So that's pretty sweet. So he's really not going to last too long. Sounds pretty awesome. Bombs? You want it? 2475. I think it wore off of you for some reason. Boom! 2005. That's a good year, I think. And, and, and he's gone. So he's not really that hard at all. Got a duplicator, 24,000 in Gala. Everyone gets twice that experience. And nobody leveled up because of how high leveled we are. That's how it is, man. So nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Even a caveman could do it. Oh boy, what is going on in here? Hmm. So... We have mobile grappling hook things, so you so you got to use those appropriately. There you go. It's pretty obvious. Pretty interesting concept, though. We got to use a boomerang because we're Australian and such. Woo! Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Reese's cookie? You mean like Yoshi's cookie? Uh, what just happened there? I just fell in a hole for no apparent reason whatsoever. It was not cool at all. But yeah. Why do I keep falling? I'm landing on the platform. I don't know what the hell's going on. Pretty freaking dumb. I don't know what's happening, man. Thank you. I don't see what... I don't see what the hell the problem was. There we go. So that was fairly obnoxious. Uh oh. This must be the heart of the nanomachine plant. Each one of these spores are the cancer cells that'll eat away at Philgaia. We can't let them carry out their plan. We'll just have to... Blow it up. It's Lee Holt Harvey! If you blow up the plant, the nanomachines, although still premature, will scatter all over Philgaia. The growth rate of the nanomachines is currently at 74%, which equals the likelihood of them activating. There's a 74% chance the nano machines will activate? Those aren't good odds. Precisely. 
is the 26% survival rate worth blowing up the plant? Personally speaking, I would rather you wait until the nanomachines have fully matured. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the advice, but we'll decide what to do after we defeat you. So, looks like we gotta fight Lee Hall. And apparently the other two are there, but they look a little bit different. The terraforming brought on by nanomachines is the proper way to, to evolve. Why do you refuse to accept the true form of the planet's future? Because no one wants that kind of future. No one? <laughs> are you certain? At the very least, our forefathers did. The Neo-Sapiens allowed nanomachines to evolve their mother planet. What? A long time ago, far, far away, existed the planet Terra. You mean from Final Fantasy? Home of the Neo-Sapiens. Technology flourished by leaps and bounds, evolving the planet. The people of Terra were no exception to this evolution. Their desire for limitless power and everlasting life caused them to outstep the boundaries of living organisms by using nanomachines to merge with machines. Half organic, half machine? Cyborgs, basically. Indeed, our forefathers rode the immigrant ship to reach Vilgaia. These Neo-Sapiens are the very demons that appear in folklore. No, I don't believe a word you say. So we gotta fight Lee Hill and apparently Melody and Mallet clones. Oh, okay then. So they all have around 7,000 to 9,000 HP. It's basically the same as any other fight with, with, with these three. Except Malak actually starts out in, in, in normal form, so you don't need to use Deceleration. So you want to go for Malak first, because he does, uh, Try Injury. Which does Misery, Disease, and Amnesia, and we certainly do not want that. And of course, Lee Halt does his usual counter with the damage you do, so you can save him for last, since he won't be doing any damage. So, yeah... We don't have any more lucky cards, but we could do gala cards if we wanted to. Be but I don't know if you should even bother, really. So just go for uh, Mr. Malik. Probably a better idea to save our gala cards for, for, for the optional boss battles. Um... Let's, you could do e e extension va valiant, but that might not be a good idea. Although protect wouldn't be a bad idea, so we'll do that. Because once we fight uh, Lee Halt, we're not going to want to be doing a whole lot of damage. Forgetfulness. That's not cool. So I wouldn't recommend taking forgetfulness off until you take out Malak. Or excuse me, Malak clone. Tuna sandwich with steak. Oh boy. Boom. Just keep going for Mr. Malik. And we can go ahead and take forgetfulness off. The good thing about his try injury thing is uh it can give you up to three experience multipliers in one attack, so that's kinda nice. Depending on your status wards. Milk! Milk does a body good and such.
And yeah, M Melody can still poison you, by the way. And that takes care of Malak. Now we go for Melody. And of course, save Lee Halt for last. Because that's how we roll. Watching your move. How creepy. But yeah, they don't have much HP. They don't even have half the HP of, of the previous boss, so... It's no big deal. Venom Strike. Sorry, but no poison for you. Your poison is in another castle, didn't you know? <gasps> Excuse me. I'm not sure if we'd want to do Gatling to Lee Halt, because I'm not sure if it would e e equal up to all that damage. <laughs> suppose we could try it, but I don't know, man. I just don't know. Not sure how that would work, since it's multiple attacks. Bump, bump! There's a crit. But yeah, there are a lot of bosses in this dungeon. I think there's still, like, two more to come. I mean, this is the... The finale of Chapter 3, so... You kinda gotta expect that, you know? Hasty Steven! Bunk! And that finishes Melody. Now we just got Mr. Malik. Mr. Malik Harvey. So here's where, where we just gotta be careful. We just gotta be careful, man. Gotta be careful. Better be careful. Oh, oh, wow. That took about like the 35% of his HP and almost one shot in chat. Crits are something you really don't want. Crits are bad. But that's nothing a mystic potion berry won't take care of. Right? Which I'm kinda curious how much how much heal berry heals with full green thumb. Kind of interested in this. I'm interested in this. Let's find out, shall we? Heal berry. Oh, it heals 600 now. It heals twice as much as it normally would. That's cool. Pup! Rules of vengeance! Yeah, so heal berries heal 600 now. Potion berries heal 2,000. I suppose mega berry would heal 4,000. But they're almost not even necessary. I got 88 potion berries. That's disgusting. Almost as disgusting as Snow Finger Hut. But not quite. Not quite. Look at that 2,000 heal, and yeah, you get a 4 experience multiplier chain er, 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 every time you do that with Mystic. So that's a good way to get Virginia's experience multiplier up. Boom! Got him! You don't believe me. Rather, you refuse to believe me. But think about it. How can people handle arms? Weapons created by dragons and left behind by demons. We may be inferior to the demons, but by communicating our spirit to our half-flesh, half-machine bodies, we are able to synchronize a part of our body. Heh <laughs> heh 
Because we are the spawn of demons, we possess a dormant agent inside us. The same one that demons have. In terms of species, humans and demons are similar. Especially when it comes to the desire for conflict and war. Okay. Even if that's the truth, we're not the same as demons. We don't want any evolution brought on by nanomachines. Tell them, look at that. 38,400 Gala, 18,300 experience. Have Virginia got over twice as, as much experience with, with, without even the use of a lucky card. Let me get some levelage. I'm pretty sure Hasty Steve reached level 60. So, it's pretty cool. Limitless power. Everlasting life. By accepting these, you become immune not only to your own pain, but to others as well. If you can't feel pain for others, you can't have love for others. There you go. Love. That is something Ekaterina would have said as well. But in a world without Ekaterina, such a word is unnecessary. Oh, he goes down in a heap. Defeated. Let's press on. You know, we still got to deal with Siegfried. Okay, Virginia. What are we doing here, Virginia? Just what are we doing? I, I, you have all of your status boards maxed out, so we can... We can do some of these elemental stuff. Thunder Ward, there you go. Get some Thunder Ward going. What, do, what about you, Clivey boy? Get some Earth Ward going. We could do Finest Star. Start building that up. Guess we could put something in Earth Ward. That would be a thing. Hey, you okay, man? You may have gotten past me, but not the originators of humans. The demons. Johnny Cage. Maya, it's me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? We found the nanomachine plant, but we don't know how to shut it off. Any ideas? I'll have to look into it. No idea. Forget about shutting it off. Well, why don't you just blow it up? No, we can't do that. All the spores will scatter over Filgaia. So we've got to do something with the actual nanomachine program, then. Your old man said something about me being the only one who can do this, but still... Uh-oh. Jet just did something. With the power of, of the science. Jet? What, what was that? What the hell should I know? It was like this at Yggdrasil, too. When I faced the system and communicated my spirit to handle the arm, this happened. Vincent should be in a Wild Arms game. That, I think he'd fit quite nicely. What did you just do? From what I can confirm here, the Nano Machine program is being rewritten at an enormous pace. What'd you do, Jet? Ah, now I understand. You're that Filgaia sample. Oh, are you ready for a truth to be revealed? The model of the world created by Elliot Endero. The android, Adam Cadman. It all makes perfect sense now. I couldn't tell from the black model you carry, but it's the arrogant lamb you hold. Adam Cadman cannot wield the power of demons. There's that name again. So guy a sample? Adam Cadman? Are you talking about me? Then you know me too? I know you very well. We, the Council of Seven, in our effort to rejuvenate the planet, first researched the makeup of Filgaia. We derived a hypothesis based on various perspectives. 
We called this the Filgaia Hypothesis. How creative. Would we be able to prove this planet was a single life form? In order to test our theory, we created you, the Filgaia Sample. So Jet was created. Even though the validity of our hypothesis was only confirmed when Asgard brought back Filgaia data of the past. To us, you were but a mere sample. You took on human form when we took up the challenge of playing God. However, to our colleague Elliot, you were much more than that. He had lost his only son days ago when he placed his son's figure over yours and continued to raise you inside the sample pod. Up until the very moment of the Yggdrasil tragedy. My life was made from Filgaia? Werner most likely rescued you from the sample pod during the accident. You were named after Elliot's son and were created to withstand any environment and adapt. You were also bestowed with the arrogant lamb, which was converted into an arm, so that you may use it as a terminal to link with the life force of Filgaia. So where'd the name Jet come from? I guess Werner gave it to him, like whatever. Shock the system. That pretty much summarizes your origin. Your own personal data. So basically, Jet is... a cyborg. If you didn't know. You were able to install the original Filgaia data into the system to cause the Yggdrasil function to crash. And now you rewrite the nanomachine program. Did Werner put you up to this? Does it really matter who? So, so Jet's story is kind of similar to Rudy from the first game. A little bit. Next, I'll rewrite you myself. How absurd. Do you wish to save the planet? Do you plan to act human just because you were created by one? You're just a puppet. Well, you're just a little bastard. Does that grab you? The nano machines are terminated, thanks to the sample data. Don't call him that. He's Jet, and he's one of us. Well, yeah. Don't worry about it. I'm not bitter. I may be a creation, but I get by. Except for the fact that I don't have any memories of the planet like you do. I guess it can't be helped. Looks like I was finally completed soon after the accident. Heh. <laughs> Guess I've only been around for a few years. It's not that I lost my memory. I never had any to begin with. No matter how far I walk or where I look, I'll never find it. As a Filgaia sample of the past, the only memory I was granted the way Filgaia was in the past. Well, just like he said, this is absurd. Oh, man. I don't know what it is, but I just feel so pissed off. Like I want to lay it on someone. Well, there's always Siegfried. The top dog is still around, right? Looks like I'm qualified to make him eat some lead. Come on, let's go. I want to leave this joint. Tell him. All right. Out of the way, sir. Out of ammo, sir. Okay.